Hi everyone, today is beta day 15. Uh, excuse my voice, <clears throat> I've been going through baby stuff this weekend and today even. And it's really kicked up my allergies really bad. Um, my <clears throat> It's been five years since I've had the newborn clothes from my son, which is what I dealt with today and yesterday. And it's been three since I've, three or four since I've dealt with the newborn clothes for my daughter. So <clears throat> they've been in the garage all that time and they were at my um, dad's house who um, had a cat in there and everything. So it was just, my sons were, which is what I dealt with today and I'm allergic to animals. So um, anyway, that's why I sound funny. <clears throat> also, I'm sorry about the um, vlog yesterday. Um, I We went to church, and then we went and um, ran errands, and then we had <clears throat> my husband's birthday dinner last night. So I didn't get a chance to do any vlogging besides um, just taking the video of when we sang happy birthday to him. So it's a really short video, but I wanted to post something because of beta. So I still haven't missed a day. Yay. <clears throat> About halfway through the month, actually exactly halfway through the month today. So hopefully I can keep it up for the rest of the month. Um, I also know I didn't post the postpartum care pads one, and I'm planning on doing that this week. Um, hopefully tomorrow, but you know, things change. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what'll happen. Um, I'll probably also want to go through some of the baby clothes that I found. So, <clears throat> whichever day I do those, I don't know, but it will be this week. Especially because I want to get that postpartum care pads done and put away. <clears throat> and I found the lavender oil. Yay! <laughs> so, anyway, um, I figured because today is my husband's birthday, uh, that we would, um, or actually that I would honor that by <clears throat> telling you guys how we met and that would be my vlog today so um, it all started I was in high school um, and I was a cheerleader and I had this friend who was the same age as me um, we didn't go to middle school or anything together but we had met in high school on the cheerleading squad and everybody called us twins because <clears throat> we both looked the same or very similar. Um, we both ended up getting glasses too. We didn't. I don't think she started with glasses either, and I didn't either. I didn't get glasses until either halfway through my freshman or sophomore year. Anyway, uh, but we both had dimples and glasses and like the same body type, and I don't know. Just everybody called us twins just because they thought we looked like. So uh, we kind of bonded through that. Plus, you know, we got along pretty well. And then we both, unknowingly, unknowing that each other was doing it, um, switched over to the other school. We have two schools in this town, two high schools, uh, which are obviously rivals. And we both switched over and joined the cheerleading squad there, um, specifically switching schools to change cheerleading. Um, but anyway, so that kind of brought us closer as well. <clears throat> so then a couple years later... Um, Actually, I don't know how much later it was, but um, my grandmother and I decided to start going back to church. <clears throat> so we went around from church to church looking for the right church home, and we stumbled upon this small little church, um, and it turned out that my friend, her, her name is Jessica, uh, Jessica, um, she went there. And her father was the youth pastor. So <clears throat> I felt pretty comfortable there because I actually knew someone and we decided to stay there. And so at that point, um, her and I were becoming close again because I was going to be going to that church. And so um, her boyfriend was the same age, went to school with and everything, Jace. Uh, it was her friend or his friend. Uh, and she had been dating her boyfriend for like four years. And so she decided she wanted to try to set us up because um, we were friends and they were friends and it'd be fun, you know. And we would all be going to the same church and, you know, 
doing the Sunday, Wednesday, everything. So, <clears throat> and they were both in the band. <laughs> so anyway, um, so she decided she wanted to introduce me to Jace. And um, I remember the first time I saw him, I was in the van with her parents, and they all, everybody was in on it. And we were pulling up to the church, and I saw him, and I thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> because he was this hairy guy. Like, he had a long beard, and I, I, my type of guy was like the skater boy, you know, the, the kind of the bad boys, <laughs> and um, I wasn't used to the kind of uh, guy that Jace is. So I was kind of put off by that. I was like, oh, you know, I'm not going to fall for him. He's got his long beard, and he's he's wearing vans that have holes in them, and he's jumping on people. He's just a weirdo. <laughs> uh, but then we decided to kind of go out to lunch and dinner and um, all that. And eventually... Uh, I would I started hanging out with him by myself and he asked me to date him I can't even tell you how many times and I said no over and over you know he asked me so often I feel so bad about it now but I mean he was just like always like we go out with me we go out with me we be my girlfriend and I'm like nope 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 <laughs> it's like I don't want to get into that right now but I had a good reason um, when I met Jace Jessica did not like my boyfriend at the time, who I had been with for um, three years, and it was off and on. Um, he and I had been friends for seven years, um, so it was really hard for me to let go of him, although I knew that I needed to, and it was just the best thing for both he and I. Um, so I had a hard time going after Jace. Uh, <clears throat> which actually, the following year, John, the boyfriend that I had at the time, passed away. Um, so that was really hard and confusing for me as well. Actually, it wasn't even the... F yeah, it was the following year. Because I met Jace in either the end of 2005 or the beginning of 2006. And John died in 2007. So, uh, anyway, yeah, so... <clears throat> That was how we met, and eventually we did start dating, and um, then at the end, or in, in 2007, we, um, no, 2006, we uh, got pregnant, and then we lost the baby in November, and then uh, we got pregnant with my son in January of 2007. And then we also got married in 2007. And that was also the year that John passed away. So it was a very, uh, very full year for me. Very um, life-changing year for me. <clears throat> but I'm, you know, I'm very happy with where I am now. We've been married since 2007. So that we're coming up on six years. Yeah. And today's his birthday and he's 26. And when we met, he was 18. So, <laughs> um, anyway, I just thought I would share with you guys how I met my husband, and, um, yeah. <laughs> so that is how all of this came about. Um, but anyway, so, um, I will be back on tomorrow to hopefully do the postpartum care pads or the, um, baby clothing. I don't know which yet. I will figure it out. But I will see you then. All right, thanks.